The new gain envelope in Studio One 5 is going to allow you to manually manage the audio levels of your audio events within your songs. Whether you'd like to remove clicks, pops, or other audio artifacts, or manage the levels of an instrument recording, the gain envelope will allow you to do so. Now my main goal for this tutorial is to show you all of the gain envelope features in depth so you can then apply them to any scenario where you see fit. Let's get started with taking a look at how you can view the gain envelope first of all. Now here I have got a field recording of a coffee shop and so we're going to give that a quick listen and take note of these peaks here because I want to use the gain envelope feature to manage these. Okay, so this is something that we may want to manually adjust ourselves. Of course, we could use a compressor, but if we'd like to uh, leave the rest of this audio unaffected, it might be better if we were to use the gain envelope in this situation. So in order to view the gain envelope, we would right click on our event. And then here we have gain envelope. Let's check that box. And then now we can see we have a line directly through the center and that's gonna show up at zero dB. Anytime we'd like to remove it, we just toggle the check here. And if you have made adjustments to the gain envelope and you remove, remove it from view with this check, then uh, your adjustments will still be there, they're just not visible. So let's go ahead and check that and take a look at making some adjustments here. I'm actually going to press E to zoom in a bit horizontally. Okay, during playback of this field recording, we kind of heard that spoon hitting the coffee glass and we can see the peaks of that here and we may want to adjust this. So this is an instance where the gain envelope can be useful. And the way that we can go about making an adjustment and first just know that as with most other tools within Studio One, the snap function, which is here, is active. We can deactivate that here or press in as in Nancy on our QWERTY keyboard. As with uh, most other tools in editing, it is going to play uh, a role or affect the behavior of our gain envelope when we're adding the points here. You can see that it's snapping because my quantized value is set to eighth notes. So we may want to deactivate our snap if we want to make precise adjustments. So I'm actually gonna press in to deactivate the snap. And let's start with this first peak here. I'm going to click in the ruler and pull down to zoom in pretty close on this. And now we can simply add a point by clicking once, maybe right about here. I'll click about here to add another point. And then as we hover our mouse up towards the top, we get the trim tool. And now that I've added those two points, I can simply click hold and then pull that down. And we can see that that peak has been managed pretty nicely. If I click in the ruler and drag up to zoom out, then we can see it falls more in line with the rest of the audio that's within this event. So now let's go ahead and take a look at these other peaks and uh, make some adjustments to these as well. Okay, so again, we will drill down in on this next peak. Click once to add a point. Click again to add a second point. Hover at the top, we have the trim tool and we can pull that down. Click in the ruler and drag up to zoom out. That looks good. Now, this could take a while if we have a lot of peaks that we'd like to manage, and a simpler way or a quicker way that we can get this done is by using the range tool. So what we could do is, if you have the smart arrow tool active with this bracket here, and it's set to use the range tool when we hover at the top of our events, then we're going to get the range tool. So I'm going to go ahead and click hold and drag to select this peak. Then I'm going to move slightly over and hold shift. Let me zoom in a bit. I'm going to hold shift. It's jumping a bit and I'm not sure why, but we'll select this peak. Zoom out a bit. 
hold shift and select this one, this, this. Do we have anything else here? Just this one last one. Okay, so now that we have these all selected, we can then come to this first one. The trim tool is active, and then I'll pull them all down. Okay, and so this is one that you'll wanna be careful with because this peak here was a little bit lower than some of these other ones, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust all of these at the same time so you can be aware that you can make uh, quicker adjustments by using shift with the range tool and selecting a group at a time. Okay, now what if we have an adjustment that we would like to remove? Let's come over here to this one, and we can see we have these points. We can simply select by clicking once and pressing delete on the keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard. I'll control Z to undo that, just to show that we can also right click and delete. I will control Z to undo that. We can also click once to select that first point, hold shift and use the right arrow to consecutively select the other points. And while they're all selected, I can press delete to remove them all out. I will control Z, select this first one. And as I mentioned, I held shift to select each one, but just know that um, let me, while I still am holding shift, use the left arrow to deselect. We can also just move our selection one at a time with the arrow keys. So if I select this point here, use the right arrow, then we move one point at a time. And I will again hold shift, use the right arrow to select all of these points. I will press delete to remove that out. And I also wanted to show that we do have the option of using the paint tool to uh, make our adjustments within the gain envelope. So if I press five to activate the paint tool here, and then we have that visible now, we can just simply click, hold and drag and draw in our adjustment. Okay, and then that's gonna be cleaned up a little bit after we release the mouse. So this is yet another option to make our adjustments. And if I really come in and zoom here, we should see a curve point. Let me press one to bring up the arrow tool. And now we can see we have that point where we can make adjustments, curve adjustments. Let's select this point and delete. Let's select this point and delete. So now you can see whenever we hover, in the center area between our points, we can make an adjustment like so. Now also take notice that when we are adjusting these points, or if we adjust a point by click, hold and dragging, or you can see this already now, we have this pop-up that's gonna display information about our point. So if we make an adjustment, then you can see that that updates to show you to the right side of that pop-up window. It's showing you in DB the amount of the adjustment that you're making. And to the left of that, you can see the actual level that we're at. So if we come all the way to the center, then that snaps to zero DB. And one other option that we have available to us is that we can right click on any point. If we'd like to manually enter in a value, just right click and we have that field here. I'll go ahead and put in minus eight, press enter then we can see that this has then been adjusted to minus eight dB. Now I'm gonna press W to zoom out and I wanna take a look at one last method that we can use to make adjustments and this one's gonna be a little bit crazy. And for this, let's just go ahead and reset our gain envelope back to as it was in the beginning. And the way that we would go about doing that is making sure that your event is selected by clicking once, we can come up to the audio in the menu up above, and then we can see here we have reset gain envelope. So we can choose it there. We could also right click on our event, come to the audio section, and then over to the left here, we see reset gain envelope. I'll click 
once, and now our event has been returned to as it was in the beginning. Okay, now the next thing, the final method of making an adjustment, which is kind of experimental, it's a little bit crazy, but uh, who knows, you may want to experiment and have a bit of fun with the gain envelope. Now we saw the freehand paint tool and how we could go ahead and click, select that, and make an adjustment. I will control Z. We also have other modes that we can use here. So we have a line tool. So if we select that and say we want to have a ramp down from here, if I click hold, we can then drag that down and then that makes an adjustment like so. I'll control Z. Then we can get really crazy and say come to the saw. Let's I'm going to come down to the bottom, click, hold, and drag, and just add that in. It's going to draw that shape. And so now we've made a pretty funky adjustment to our envelope. Let's actually hear that back, how that sounds. Okay, it actually doesn't sound that crazy. Um, we could also activate the transform tool. So if I come to the paint tool, click on the down arrow at the bottom, we have transform. Now let's click down at the bottom and select all of these points. And then I'm going to come to the upper right hand corner. We can come to the, any of these corners and make adjustments now. And you can see what that's going to look like. Let's play this back. Okay. And uh, that almost seems to be reversed. Let's take this one and flip it all the way around like so and pull that out. Let's just really experiment. Play that back. Let's pull this one around and listen to this. Okay. So it's not as crazy as I thought, but I think if you experiment a bit, then you can really get some strange things happening with your audio. Okay. Now the last thing that I'd like to mention now that we have this, um, kind of weird adjustment within our clip. Just know that the adjustments that you make to the gain envelope in your audio events are going to follow that event. So if I were to press T and add a second audio track, this is gonna be stereo, that looks good. I'll press okay. And let us, let me press one to bring up the arrow tool. I'll click and select this event. Let's copy. Set our song position cursor here and select this second track and control V to paste. You can see that the adjustments that we've made have followed along with this event. So wherever you copy this event to within your song, these adjustments will follow along. And even if you take this to another song, a completely different song, it's going to follow along. So that should, this event should still be in the clipboard. So let's come to a completely different song. Press T, add a stereo track. Okay. Let's control V. Okay. And you can see we have our adjustments that have followed along with our field recording of the coffee shop. Now coming back to our first song. If I were to make an adjustment, say to this point here, notice the second clip that was copied is also being adjusted. Okay, now if we come to our second song, it has not been adjusted. So the settings that you have copied will be retained, but the adjustments that you make in a separate song uh, or after that will not follow along. So if I adjust this here, 
and then come back to our initial song, you can see that these will not be affected. So it's only after you copy those initial settings will be retained, but any further adjustments that you make in a completely new song will be independent and discrete from these clips here. All right, so I think that pretty much covers everything with the gain envelope. And again, if we'd like to reset our envelope back to as it was, then we can right click on our audio event, come down to audio, and then choose reset gain envelope. And bam, these have been returned to zero dB.